Okay guys, I just discovered something incredible. Take a look at this. Oh, uh, that's awesome. This was made by AI. I, I'm speechless. That is insane. Alright, what you saw just then was this new AI that is on Discord, and it's like nothing I've seen before. Especially not on Discord. I've seen AI generate artwork before, but never on Discord. So for us Discord enthusiasts, this is a game changer. If you want to make artwork for your server, but you don't want to make it yourself, this is perfect. As you can see, this is a very popular server, because a lot of people are using this every second. Let me just give you a rundown of how this works. So guys, what you're going to want to do is head to the link in the description, or just type in midjourney.com slash home, and it will take you to this page right right here. You want to click join the beta, it will open a new tab which will invite you to their server. And it will take you to Discord, you've been invited to join Mid Journey. 927,000 members. So to say that this is popular is quite an understatement. So I'm going to click join Mid Journey and we will be taken here, the homepage of the server. And as you can see there are many channels over here, but we're just going to experiment with this. You can actually get this in your DMs, so you don't have to use all these chat rooms that are being used all the time. You can have it in your own private DMs with the bot, so it's easier to keep track of. But I'm pretty sure you have to pay for that. So we're just going to head into this channel here. This is where you can do it for free. Scroll all the way down and I'm going to show you the command you have to type. So we're going to be using slash command. So you're going to want to type slash imagine and it will put this prompt field here and this is where you're going to type what you want the image to generate. So honestly you can put anything in here, you can put the most random things together and it will look pretty good. I'm going to put beach sun, you're going to want to separate the different parts of the image with commas. I'm going to put sunset because I want it to be in the sunset and I'm going to put boats in sea. So we can all have boats in the ocean. So, wow, someone else had this very similar idea. As you can see, this is basically everyone using it right now. Everything you see in this channel is AI generated. And I'm gonna add one more thing, just to spice it up. I'm gonna put 80s. See if it will come up like an 80s theme. I'm gonna send that, and it will say waiting to start. So I'm gonna scroll up a bit, just so I keep my position in the channel. And the bot will process your request in the background. It will give you a percentage here. You should have to be a bit patient, but it won't take that long. It's already up to halfway. This is what I wanted it to generate. So beach, sun, sunset. Boats in sea, 80s. And as the percentage increases, it will basically add more to the image and guess finalize it. 100%, there we go. And I'm gonna scroll down because it will delete that and it will put it right down here at the bottom of the channel. So here we go. You can tell it's your message because it's got an orange box around it. And let's take a look at that. That was all AI generated. I think I like the third one the best. I think that will work best as, for example, a server logo or a server banner like they have up here. But I'm actually gonna generate another one. So it's made the beach. It's got the sun, it's a sunset, and it's got boats in the sea. As for 80s, I'm sure that did change the vibe quite a bit. Maybe I need to put like retro or something like that. So I'm gonna do it one more time. So imagine purple sky, retro, skyscrapers. However you say that, I'm not even gonna pronounce it. It's basically all these fancy colors in the sky, like green. You'll probably see in a minute, because I'm sure the AI would do a good enough job. And there you go, so I missed it, because it's such an active channel. But it's generating in the background. Purple sky, retro, skyscrapers, and that word right there. And at the moment, I can tell you it's doing a really good job. As I said, as the percentage increases, the quality of the artwork gets better. I have no idea how they coded all this and especially not in Discord. This is phenomenal. And this is gonna help a lot of people who maybe don't have access to Photoshop or anything like that, or aren't necessarily that talented, because I definitely could not make something like this for my server. And I might even use this in my server, to be honest, it's that good. And there you go. As you can see, it's disappeared because it's finished. You're gonna wanna scroll down. Um, you can use the inbox over here, and it will mention you. So I'm gonna jump to that. Purple sky, retro skyscrapers, and that word. Look at that, that's beautiful. Right, I don't know what one I prefer, actually. I think I really like the first and the second one the most. I'm gonna go for the first. I think that'll make a really good server logo. You might wanna add text on yourself. I don't know if the bot can do that. I doubt it, though, because of all the fonts and all that. But you may be wondering what these buttons are here. U1, U2, U3, and U4. These basically refer to upscaling. Let's say you prefer the first image, but you want it in higher quality because obviously this is merging all four images that it's generated because it will generate four at a time, merging it into one and it's quite low resolution. So if you want to upscale the first one, you're going to want to click U1 and it will work on that. So we'll give that a minute and you're going to have to scroll down to see this. It says it's upscaling the image. This will probably take about the same amount of time as it would to generate the four images in the first place. Honestly, before I even told it to upscale, it was insane already. But now it's just like 10 times better. I literally found this out about an hour ago, so I'm learning stuff as you are. And I, I'm still carried away by this. This is great. Well, I just want to take a minute to look at these. Wow, those are great. That is an insane last image. You can make this bot make anything for you. It's insane. Okay, and once it's done, it will say job finish. See the results. And you can click this hyperlink here. I actually don't know how it did that. You can't do hyperlink in a message. No, I'm even carried away by hypertext. All right, click that. Wow, that is incredible. That is really good. Okay, that is 124 by 124. So it's not exactly an extreme resolution, but you can upscale to max. That I, I've literally just found that out. I guess it's like giving you feedback. I'm gonna upscale to max. Okay, job finished, see the results. 
nice. Honestly, it looks like a painting, it really does. 1664 by 1664. So for most people, this is a great resolution, especially for a server icon or server banner. This is absolutely fine. This is a perfect resolution. Seriously, I'm blown away by that. That is actually incredible. That's better than most artwork nowadays. Although that's not exactly hard to accomplish. Right, I'm just going to do one last thing. So I'm going to make variations. This chat is very laggy because it's loaded so many messages. Okay, basically doing that, we'll take the image you already liked and make very similar versions to it. These do look quite different, but they got the same kind of like form going on. And if you remember earlier, I was going over what these buttons were. U refers to upscale and this button here, it's basically like typing a command again or just give you a bunch of new images. And what V does is basically gives you variations of certain images. So that's basically what I did just now. I made a variation of the first image. And now we've got four new images based on the first one, which is the one I picked. Okay, so it does not keep the original. So you might want to save that or just go back up in the channel to get it again. Um, it will override them, apparently. I really like the fourth image. That's great. I love all of them. Honestly, I want to use this for my server right now. I'm sure there's much more to this. I just wanted to give you a quick overview today. So if you want to do this yourself, if you want the AI to generate artwork for you, join the Mid Journey Discord server. I'll put the website in the description below. Honestly, it's going to take me all day to go over this. All right, that's it for this video. Until next time, I will see you next time.